All right, so we're going to be starting out today with the new season. And we're going to be kicking it off with an Engels deck. So we're going to be playing a Liang Borka deck. Um, I've got a couple here. We'll probably play both of them in different videos. They're fairly similar. Um, so we're going to be seeing which one performs better. I think I like this one more because this one plays Shatterer, which is... Like, Shatter a Rifle feels a lot less versatile than Rhino Shock, but I don't know, we'll see. This one probably makes it to Borka more often, but I don't know if that's even a good thing. Uh, Liang is the worst commander in the game, I think. I, yeah, I think I think Liang might be the worst commander in the game. I'm trying to think if it's better than McNeil. It's definitely worse than all other GDI commanders, and it's worse than all Nod commanders. But it's close with McNeil. I think McNeil's pretty bad as well. Anyway, let's get started. Hopefully we can get some Liang value out of our Rhinos and Predators. The problem with Liang is, even, like, the best case scenario for a Liang is you get some value out of it. That is literally, that's like, that's the absolute win, is you get more value back than it cost you. That is the absolute GOAT standard for Liang. Which is not that big a deal. Like... Rivals is not a game about value. You almost never win rivals by a, a tr by, a, by accruing value. That's not... That's almost never how you win in rivals. Rivals is almost exclusively about tempo. Because the real economy of the game is this one over here. This is what really matters. Like, pop cap is the thing that actually counts in this game. Um, Tiberium is almost never what's relevant unless you're playing tech. And if you're playing tech, then timing is a lot of the time more more important than Tiberium because you just have infinite Tiberium if you can buy yourself enough time. So yeah, the Tiberium economy is not that well done in the game. Um, as a lot of you know. Interesting. Interesting start. Bikes. I guess we'll just go straight into Pred. But yeah, so basically all Liang really does is allows you to gain value, like to gain Tiberium, which is not super useful. I should shoot this one. I've got my rhinos on the other one. Yeah, rhino, my rhinos are doing good work there. Uh, I guess I'll make some missiles. Looks like we're going to win this first missile. Predator is, is just too strong here. Yeah, Predator doing a lot of work. Um, I guess we could do this now. No, we're just going to lose it immediately because it's too slow. No, he didn't go after it. Alright, cool. Alright, so we can heal up our Predator and our Rhino. And now we're going to lose it. Alright, he boosted. So if you consider that all the Ang really does is gives you money, him using a bike and a boost to kill my Liangro, and that's already, like, that's already 60. That's more than Liangro and cost me. So I am massively ahead in Tiberium by him doing that. Even if he, even if the Liang drone had done nothing else, I would still be pretty far ahead in Tiberium. But it just doesn't matter. It's like, like I was saying before, it just isn't that relevant. Like I have 150 tib, I can't do anything with it. I'd much rather just have a commander power that actually does something on the battlefield than have additional Tiberium that isn't particularly useful. I guess that is the, that is the that is the crux of the issue with Liang. Like it used to do more things when it could steal pads, and that was the main purpose people used it for. Now it just doesn't really do anything, sadly. Objective when you say three, two, and you've also you like when the, the fact that it trades so poorly with slingshot because 150 for the first balker, and then they'll use two slingshots to kill it, costing them 120. At which point you have to make another balker, so you're 250 in the hole to their 120, and then their next slingshot is 180 and will kill your balker again. So it's just really inefficient. Slingshot is a slingshot is just a problematic unit in general. It's just too good. It shuts down too much of the meta game. Have to make some more missiles. This isn't going great. This Rhino opening is not very good against uh, against the bikes. Uh, I guess I make Rhino here. Wait, why didn't he? He fucked up. He didn't. He obviously didn't mean to go off that pad. All right. Well, thanks for the freebie. 
Now we need to go Predator. The problem is going Rhino into Predator is too slow against a War Factory opening. It might be okay against Pitbulls, but it's too slow against Wheel into Bike. I'm just going to make shocks because I'd rather just mirror match these Flamers than try and beat them with uh, Rhino only. Alright, opponent is a Scorpion deck. That's good for us. Can't Liang in the relevant spots. Can do this, I guess. And hope that my Predator survives with Liang boost. Yeah, nice. That's pretty huge. If he goes for the Predator here, he's going to fuck up. Yeah, this is, a, this is a big mistake by the opponent. It's healed way too much already. This is like best case scenario for Liang, I think. Like, we managed to defeat the Scorpion with a damaged Predator. We healed up our um, Rhino fully, and now our Predator is still alive and is going to beat another Scorpion. Oh no, it actually lost to the other Scorpion, but barely. That was like best case scenario for, for Liangro, and that was about as, about as good as it's going to get. It just isn't high enough impact in the current, in, like the way the game currently plays, it isn't high enough impact. Enemy base destroyed. Three, two, one. New objective. What's up, Nara? You gonna share that 100 streak? Unit ready. Awaiting orders. Opponent is not here. Nope. Okay then. Building online. Oh, he's back. We got a war factory opening. Yeah, starting the game like 30 seconds late that is a bit of a miscalculation. I guess I'll just make. Oh, he's on jump jets. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I made this predator. In my head, I was like, oh, I'll make predator against the war factory, and then he made jump jets, and I just didn't. I still just made the predator for no reason. He actually did make a Pitbull though, so it could work out. Let's get another one of these. That's absolutely fine if you want to try and attack my Predator tank with the Jump Jets. That'll be an easy win. Alright, cool. We're going to get this missile. Even if he moves Jump Jets down here, the, the Rhino will beat them. Yeah. Actually, my missiles at top were not doing very well. They were pretty close to dead. Unit ready. Uh, Unit not ready. sure what this is. Okay. The other thing is, I know people love to attack Harvester, like they're obsessed with it, but if you're playing against Liang, it's even worse. Like, it's already pretty bad. Just in general. Yeah. Against Liang, it's fully unplayable strategy. Mission accomplished. Control. Three, two, one. New objective. Roboto. This is a pretty serious opponent. <clears throat> Interested to see what he's playing. Building online. Unit ready. Guess tank is full. Oh, buggy opening. The doctor is in. You don't want to trade with with I'm buggy joined. against Rhino. The Rhino wins by a lot. This is not a good exchange for him. He hasn't made bites. Is he gonna make scorpion? Yeah. All right. We'll just make predator. This is also quite bad for him because again, the predator will win by a lot. Although he has have, he does have bikes to help him out, and I don't have hit ball, so that could be a problem for me. I don't think I can kill these bikes at the top in time. <clears throat> Yeah, him having bikes is a huge deal with me not having Pitbull. I'm gonna drop the Liang drone. I'll try and repair his Pitbull as Rhino at the same time. This laser is gonna have a very bad time trying to fight Liang Rhino. Yeah, he's basically not making a dent. This matchup seems kind of bad for him. He, he probably has Banshee. Because everyone has Banshee. If he doesn't have Banshee, then yeah, there is. If he didn't have Banshee, he'd just be dead to the Predators. I've got Sling. I guess I'll make a Sling. Unit lost. 
Still seems like a pretty bad matchup for him. Man, the land drone is so slow now. It's like actually comically bad. Like you just can't use it because anything can come and kill it comfortably. I think Liang is just unplayable. Like actually just fully unplayable. Like even if you start running it away when you see the enemy unit coming, you can't escape. <laughs> so it's just utterly worthless. You have to like properly fortress around it to have a chance. I don't think he can win this matchup though. Like I've played this matchup from the other side and it sucks. Predator tank just beats his deck super hard. Imagine if I was playing a real commander, then it would be actually impossible for him. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty much impossible for him to win this matchup. If I had a different commander, it would be even harder for him. But even with Liang, it, like the, my my deck just beats his deck so hard. Because he doesn't have uh, he doesn't have Kane to kill the Preds either. It says all Hell Divers will receive, so I think I think it's probably just a bug that you haven't got it yet. All right, we got Roboto again. Yeah, I figured he might open bikes. That's why I opened missiles. It looks like he might even be trying to bike rush me. I saw something here so early, and because he opened buggy last game, I was like, there's no way that he has a buggy on the pad that quickly. Which means he must be bike rushing. And it makes sense to bike rush as well. Like, bike rush is a pretty reasonable response to me opening Rhino. Um, if I'd opened Rhino again, it would have been really bad for me. Fortunately, I saw his play and countered it. Just gonna spam missiles for now. Because he doesn't, I don't think he even has a harvester right now. Because of how fast he had that buggy. Which means that he isn't going to be able to tech switch into, what are they called, um, flamers. Which means that I should be able to just missile spam. I might lose first missile here, just through weight of enemy units. We'll see. Not yet. It's close though. Have I been manipulated? You have in fact been manipulated. Yeah, fair enough. Once your once your know-how fails, that's the that's it. Destroyed. Control. Three, two, one. New objective available. Sir. Holy Toledo. I'll take good care of you. Who he's playing? Unit ready. Barracks opening. I think the Rhino opening is incredibly good against Barracks opening. It's even better than Buggy because Rhino beats missiles harder than Buggy does. I obviously should not say things like this because then I say that and then end up losing the missile. It's embarrassing, but <laughs> I do believe from my experience of playing on, on the other side, on both sides in fact, that a Rhino opening is extremely hard to beat. Although I don't, again, do not have Pitbull to, to back it up, which is a problem. I think I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna win the missile. You just can't kill the rhinos quickly enough. So you just always lose that first missile. That's been my experience from the other side as well. I actually wanna keep my rhino at the bottom alive because I've got this Liang. And I've got my predator tank to heal up as well. So I think it makes sense. I'm gonna sneak around and try and get the Liang drone. It's not looking good for my Rhino, I think he's gonna die. Yeah, once again, Liang not really doing anything. What's up, Entsorga? Thank you for the raid. Oh, he's got Predator Tank, interesting. Uh, I guess I have Borker for if I start losing Predator Mirror. That's the same thing that you do with the old Peter deck. It was basically just built around Predator Tanks. Autism is I think not it was a bad. brilliant move. Thank Judgment you, sir. Clearly, you are highly intelligent. See that? But it is true that he doesn't have a cape, Three, which is pretty, two, pretty sketchy. One. New objective General chaos. Unit 
Mm, barracks opening again, that's good for me. Blade squad is battle ready. Wait, you have a squad named after me? Excellent. I don't know if this second rhino is a good call. I think it was a bad call, actually. I only needed one. If he made second missile, the second rhino would be reasonable. Yeah, now I have these bikes to deal with. Could go missiles. See, if I had Pitbull here, it'd be, it'd be super easy. Just make Pitbull easy win against the bikes. Uh, but with Predator, it's a little bit sketchier. If he just pushed onto the pad, I think he would have got it. Predator should be able to beat two bite squadrons. It won't beat the third one, though, that we know is coming. Oh, hello. Spicy. Damn, son. Man, Jade Missile is so hard to dodge now. I moved my stuff immediately, and the rhino, even the Rhino didn't make it. Maybe if I selected the Rhino first before the Predator. Well, that was awkward. Mm, Giga Cannon. At least the map is bad for Giga Cannon. This is the time when I might want to make Forker. Chuggy, alright. Have to use infantry to fight the Giga Cannon. Obviously, can't use our Rhino. Problem is, I can't fight the. I can't use my Predator to fight the Chuggy because the splash damage will kill it. I might be able to steal this pad with Liang. Oh, here come the bikes. <laughs> Liang is so worthless. Actual, actual zero text. <laughs> it just does nothing. Just the worst commander in the game. Yeah, I saw that coming. I'm trying to save for this Borker now. That feels like my best chance. Alright, Borker doing its job. Should get the missile comfortably now. And then he's going to go for my Harvester. Which I will attempt to balk to death. I'm gonna try and get in, yeah, there we go. Now I can just get a new harvester. Oh my god, again. Shade OP. This commander's like, I mean, Jade is not the best commander in the game, but it's still drastically better than mine. Because Liang is actually, yeah, Liang is just actually worthless. It's worst commander in the game, not close. At least McNeil would be doing something against the two range. Liang is doing absolutely nothing. Alright, we're going to have to rely on the Borker again. Or at least he wasted that cat missile. That's pretty good for me. Oh, Bork is dead again. Absolutely useless. Absolutely the most worthless piece of shit. <laughs> uh. Liang Steel? Oh, let's go. <laughs> Best commander in the game. So garbage, man. Actually so garbage. Objective available. What's up, Pablo? Building online. You got it. Awaiting orders. Lock and load. Lock and load. Moving out. Taking them. I don't think I'm gonna make second Rhino, especially since he hasn't even made lasers. The Rhino opening is so much less potent without the Pitbull to back it up. Right, obviously going to tech switch immediately against the Mutant. Seems very likely to be a Mutant Chuggy deck given that he's opened rifles and then made Mutants. Oh, hello. Maybe not. Venom is, Venom is unusual. The thing about Venom is, 
It's horrible against Slingshot. This is the reason that I don't like Venom in the current meta game, is because Slingshot's so good against it. Like if you're relying on Venoms and there's a Slingshot around, then you just get you just get your ass handed to you. Well, here comes the Liang steal again. <laughs> the only thing Liang was ever good for in all of Rivals, and it's still the only thing Liang is good for in all of Rivals. <laughs> uh, that's funny. It's funny because that was like the thing they wanted to remove, right? They were like, this is the thing that's obnoxious, is Liang stealing pads. And it's still, still, still capable of doing it, depending on the map. I think I should make shots instead of Rhino, but maybe one Rhino wouldn't be the worst thing ever. This hover tech though, mad OP, going over this tiny lake. Getting loads done by going over this tiny lake. The thing is, like, Venom deck is just so horrible against Slingshot. Oh, I'll just do this again. GG. GG, my guy. Both missiles taken by Liang. Check W. Enemy base destroyed. Three. You are right though. Liang Liang healing. There will have been meta games where the Liang healing was very good. I just don't think this is one of them. We've definitely had meta games where the extra money matters a lot as well, but I don't think this is. A, I don't think we're in that meta game. Like back when Borker was utterly broken, saving up to be able to make multiple Borkers was a huge deal, because it was just like the unit did just clear the whole map, so that was insane. Is he gonna make bikes? He made tanks. Oh, I make tanks as well. He does have Kane though, so he's not just gonna auto lose to Predator tanks. Tank Building online. Shockwave, ready to melt the enemy. Wheels of the Predator cannon loaded. Get the Rhino to handle the Banshee whilst the Predator takes care of the Scorpion. I think he shot the. Yeah, he must have shot once. At the Rhino. Uh, I guess we could Liang here. Oh, and Leandro's dead. So bad, man. So easy to kill it. It's just comical. The fact that it dies to one hit of everything and is so slow you can never get it away from an enemy is pretty awkward. Like, that is pretty garbage. Stop making shock troopers here. I've made way too many shocks. I do need to keep my slingshot around. It's important for keeping the um It's important for keeping the banshees away. The thing is he effectively because of the Liang he kind of hasn't done relevant damage here. To the predator tank because it's just gonna heal it up. Same here, like switching damage to the shot to the slingshot there doesn't do anything. Because it's because it's being Liang, like it's just back to full. Like this this situation here, the Liang has been excellent. He should really be making a cane. That's like his best out at this point. Yeah, he really needs to make a cane. It's probably too late now. Maybe not. Depends if this predator lives or not. Liang steal again? Tech W? 
Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Liang Shieldsies. <laughs> I can't remember what I thought of it when I watched it. I'll tell you what, if you want a good war movie though, I think Fury is pretty good. Against Agi. Agi plays Sniper MLRS. So this is going to be a real bad matchup. I wonder if I should double half. Because, like, Borker is the only chance I have. Building online. Awaiting all ready for action. Mission ready. Yes, sir. Unit ready. Mission squad here, sir. Wheels at Awaiting. Let's go. Mission squad room. Awaiting. Go. Mission. Mission squad. Standing by. Yes, sir. Awaiting orders. Mission ready. Reporting. Mission squad. You got it. Unit ready. Down. Seriously, just iron cannon shock troopers? That's insane. Like, that's actually insane. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> Why would you iron cannon shock troopers? That was so confusing. Also, again, I'm playing Liang, so attacking my harvester is really not that much value. What a weird start to a game. I have no clue what's happening right now. I'm definitely gonna want this Borka. I'm happy to bork some jump jets, that's fine. I'll take that for my first volley. Less keen on this killing a single dog thing, but whatever. Let's get rid of these two. I don't want these units anymore. I don't want another Borka. That would be ideal. I'm kind of surprised he could afford another Iron Cannon, to be perfectly honest with you. Okay, that was such a weird game. I was honestly just, I don't know what he was thinking in that game. That was so, so surreal. I guess Talon as well. His deck is insane versus mine. But I don't know what he was doing in that game. Objective complete. Okay, there we go. 10-0. Deck is insane. Liang still clearly OP still. <laughs> that was the best thing Liang did in this run by a lot. There was like one game where I got really good healing against Master and then I stole pads three times, which was easily the best thing Liang did. <laughs> All right, there we go. There's Engel's uh, TDI deck. We'll try the other one. We'll try the other one in the future, maybe tomorrow and see how it compares. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you next time.